All right, governor. Today I'm going to show you how to identify um, the cookies on your site and use that information to do uh, your cookie policy, your privacy policy. So um, here we are on a website, and uh, I'll shut this down. I'll start from the beginning, and I'm going to right-click and then inspect element. I'm going to storage. This is in Firefox, so it may be different on another browser, but roughly looking for storage. And then you can see here cookies and selected the, the URL. And I'll just refresh the page. And this is a Joomla site, and it only has one cookie. So uh, you click on it, you can see a little bit more. And uh, this is, in fact, I know the session cookie for Joomla. Um, and you can see that's true because it expires on the session. And that information is just to hold uh, hold information about you, whether you're logged in or something like that. Uh, it can set your preferences, basically. It's a necessary cookie for Joomla because otherwise it won't know if you're logged in. You'll never be able to get logged in. If you don't accept that cookie, you'll never be able to log in. It will just never be able to remember anything. So it will just assume you're not. Um, so that's how you find it. Um, you may have... Uh, Joomla site with some stuff added on, Google Analytics and stuff like that. They'll all appear here. Uh, if I show you uh, a different website, perhaps. Uh, so we'll look at this one. I'm going to Storage, and you see here. And in this case, there is the Cookie Control cookie, and and that's it, and the Joomla session. So I accept recommended settings, and then. Refresh, will that help me? That hasn't done much. Brilliant. So here you see I'm on the ICO homepage and I've got analytics cookies are set. I'll go to storage and you'll see there's loads of cookies here. I can click on them to find out a bit more information. Um, but you basically need to understand what these cookies are doing on your own site so you can write your privacy policies. First of all, you need to know whether they're um, first-party cookies, i.e. you are creating them with your site, or third-party, another provider like Google Analytics. You need to decide whether they're mandatory, uh, whether they're for marketing, or what their purposes are, and be able to give a reader a bit of information about that, a uh, reader of your privacy policy. So here's how you would do it. You just inspect the element, go to your storage, Go to your cookies, make a list of them, categorize them as necessary, explain to the user what they're doing, and give the user an option to opt out of them. Uh, if it's a mandatory or necessary cookie, i.e. control something on your site, it saves preferences or something like that, then you don't necessarily have to opt out of that because it may be impossible to do that. It might break the site. Um, other than that, you should be able to opt out, really. So uh, hopefully this helps you to identify what your site in particular is running and then update your privacy policy with the correct information so that you uh, don't run the wrath of the beautiful Information Commissioner's Office. Please subscribe if you found this useful. Uh, write in some comments. if you. I know it's a big topic, GDPR. Uh, I'm not an expert, but I'll help if I can. Um, but please do ask questions if you need any. Perhaps someone else might even have an answer. Thanks for listening.